everyone and welcome back to, well, well, welcome to a new Let's Play I'll be doing on this channel, um, it's actually the first commentary I'm doing on this channel, um, this is Pokemon Fire Red, as you can see, I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play on it, and I'll be doing more games, not just Pokemon, but I'm just, just gonna start out with Pokemon, just because I love playing it, and, yeah, let's just hop right into this. Now, this isn't gonna be a Nuzlocke or anything, this is just gonna be a Let's Play, or walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I've played through this game so many times, I basically can play through it blindfolded, to be honest, but, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing a Nuzlocke just yet. I, maybe the next Let's Play I do, I don't like doing Nuzlocke on regular games, I like doing them on ROM hacks, so, yeah, I'm not gonna be that, but, it's just whatever. And this is the... This is Professor Oak, the professor of Can the Kanto region. I'm pretty sure everyone knows Professor Oak is. So I'm not gonna read his dialogue here, but yeah, we'll just like throw out a near random female and like, yep, there you go. So, um, uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I I was actually recording a different Let's Play before this. It was um, Pokemon Black Two. But that, that ended in a catastrophe, so I'm like, alright, you know let's, let's try Fire Red. And so far, it's pretty good, um, recording wise. But I'm, I'll name all my characters in the Pokemon world Shippo. I'll probably name all my characters Shippo in every single game, to be honest, but. Yeah, there we go. Right, so Shippo. Uh, yep, alright. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. This text feed is so slow. <laughs> um, what was his name? Uh, I thought he was just gonna make it green, cause I really don't have, I don't have friends to name this guy after. Pretty sad life. I'll just name him. I couldn't name him green, but just... no, I'm, I'm gonna make his name in all caps. To ruin his life. Alright, I'll name him blue. Kind of like red and blue from the original games, but it's green in this one because that was the game that was really released in Japan. Blue wasn't released in Japan. Oh wait, well, yeah. So that's why they made Fire Emblem Green and not like Ocean Blue or something like that. That'd be pretty stupid anyway. Having three games. And I probably won't be doing the after game, but I mean, if you guys want me to do the after game, just tell me and I'll do it. I remember how to get the after game, so. The first roll of Gen 1, get that potion from the PC. Yeah, right, okay, thank God. It's running smoothly, thank God, boys. Right. When I tried doing the Dezume one, it was horrible. But yeah, you can talk to everyone around here if you want. Um. Pallet Town, shade your journey, shade your journeys away. Alright, nice. Fast and let's change this to. Yeah, I like that one. Alright, so yeah, you can talk to everyone here. They just say useless shit that you really don't need. Like, technology is incredible. You can now store it and recall items and Pokemon via the PC. Yep. It's pretty, it's pretty good. And, yeah, this is your Rival Cells Blue's house, and basically, you just need to go up here, and Oak will stop you. Really don't waste your time, like, talking to everyone, because unless you're new to the game, there's really nothing that will assist you in any single way. It's unsafe wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me, because... Never remember, kids. Never without a condom. Protection is like the number one thing. Okay, I'm joking, but actually, no, I'm not joking. That's actually pretty serious. Use use protection, kids. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. You know, I'm, I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make Blue sound like a hoodlum or something, cause I mean, nah, I'm gonna make him sound like a retard. Cause he says "smell you later" a lot. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Shippo. There are three Pokemon here. Ha <laughs> ha. They're held in po Yeah, I know they're fucking in Pokeballs. I don't have autism. Or do I? Alright, 
so basically all rival says is why the fuck can I go first and really because I'm a special child here so basically in every single Pokemon game will be three stars you, you guys know this I'm, I'm not sure why I'm telling you this it's my first time doing this so it's gonna be pretty cringy but yeah the Charmander Squirtle oh fuck it okay and Bulbasaur um I've chose Charmander the most. I've chose Bulbasaur the second amount of times. Like I've chosen the second most, and I've chose Squirtle the least amount of times. I like Squirt. I like all these three starters. They're all good competitively too. Well, well, I mean, yeah, all of them are. But at certain points in other generations, they weren't that good. But yeah, like Charizard was horrible in Gen Four. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna be going with Bulbasaur mainly because I just choose Charmander way too much in Fire Red and Leaf Green at least in Red and Blue I choose Squirtle the most. It's pretty weird, but I'm gonna go with Bulbasaur. Oh, by the way, before you choose your starter, if you want to know what's the starter that has the easiest time for the game, Bulbasaur has the easiest time with the gym leaders early on. Fucks over Brock. Fucks over Misty. Resist. Captain Surge, I mean Lieutenant Surge, I'm sure that Captain Surge, but and to be honest he's a poison type so he can hold his own against Erica. And uh yeah, and Squirtle has second most easiest time. It fucks over Brock. It resists Misty, but it can't really do any damage to Misty. And then it's weak to Captain Surge. I'm not sure why he wants to stay in Captain Surge, it's Tenet Surge. Um and it's weak against Erica and and then the fifth gym leader, and it's pretty much neutral until until Blaine, which fire hopes was weak too. But you'll have more mods by then. It's not like I'm gonna do a solo run right now. But I actually haven't thought of a nickname for Bulbasaur, which is hmm, I might need to cut this out. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna just go with the good old no, nice and creative. I'm gonna be Pedia, like Bulbapedia. Hell yeah. Should I? Kinda want to be Zeus cause it's kinda like a book in a way and then like Dr. Zeus is an author and You know what? Saucy memes call for saucy memes. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? I'll do it in a little case. Rosen, like Michael Rosen, because why not? And he chooses Charmander, he always chooses starter, that's weak to you, so don't think, oh, he's going to choose Charmander, so I'm just, just going to choose Squirtle, like, no, that's, that's how it works. Okay, yeah, okay, so basically, after you leave the lab, your rival will want to fight you. It's not going to... Actually, Oak actually teaches you how to battle in this, but I'm just gonna speed that part up because no one wants fucking Oak to fucking talk right now because we all know how to battle, so. Yeah, you can read this shit if you want, but I will. Okay, I will read important information, like dialogue that has to do with the story and stuff, but not about this stuff. Yeah, it's like the damage, we all know to shut the fuck up, Oak. Oh, and stat-wise, Charmander is the fastest. Blastoise is the most, like, has the most d defense, and um, Venusaur has the most special defense. And Charmander also has the most special attack. I don't know why I'm speeding as Charmander anyway. <laughs> I probably have, like, a timid nature um, Bulbasaur. That's probably why. I What's unbelievable? I picked the wrong Pokemon. Uh, see, I, I need a voice for him. With those typical Poketoos. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'll give him an annoying voice. <clears throat> okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Ship out Gramps, smell you later! Yeah, that's a good voice. Alright. Fuck. I gotta change this shit. Okay. Help. No, 
not, no, not set. I could play on set. I can probably definitely beat on set. So played harder games than this, but rash nature. Okay, yeah, that lowers special defense and higher speed. It's not a good nature for a Bulbasaur, but it's fine with me, I guess. I mean, it's 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 an in-game Bulbasaur. It's not a competitive one, so I don't really care about the nature. Hell, even if it was adamant, I wouldn't really give a shit. I remember um, when I first like started to learn about all the natures, I was like, oh, recording would take the speeding up, because I haven't tested that out yet, but uh, if it's horrible, I'll see in the editing, and I'll just cut that out, and I won't speed up anymore if it, like, you know, throws everything off. Actually, I won't speed up anymore just to make it safe. And it's a pain to walk without the speed of bun, to be honest, because you don't get the running shoes until uh, the first gym. Alrighty then. So, yeah, we just made it to Virgin City in like two seconds. Sorry about that, I was interrupted and I'm gonna assassinate the next person who interrupts me. Until they fix this mic, okay, there we go. Sorry, I was interrupted. <laughs> I have to assassinate the next person who interrupts that, who interrupts my recording. Then I've cut it down, then it sounds so retarded. You know Professor Oak, right? His, his order came in. Can you take it to him? Eh, yeah, right. Oak's parcel. Basically, you can't get Pokeballs yet. Uh, yeah, he doesn't let you talk to him yet. He's a. Well, we're gonna be a Professor Oak's little slave here and, like, deliver his shit for him. Okay, I'm gonna speed up. I'm sorry. This is just, like, way too slow. I hope that doesn't mess up the recording, like I really hope that doesn't mess up the recording. And basically what happens now, actually no, you'll see what happens, but now this is when our journey really just kicks off, before you really couldn't do anything. Oh shit, but how was my old Pokemon? Well it seems like it should be growing more. <laughs> uh, I mean we just got it, so I don't think it grew that much. You must be talented. You must be a. Uh, fuck. Cut that shit out. So yeah, you just deliver the parcel real quick, and he's like, "Ah, the custom Pokeball." I. Uh, I'm sure It'd be cool if he actually gave us the custom Pokeball. Uh, it really probably won't make sense in the storyline anyway. So. I I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him like a, like a like a British accent or something like that. So, on this desk is my invention, the Pokedex. It's an automatic. It automatically records data on Pokemon we've caught. I'm sorry that each time I do an accent, I can't really read it properly. So, it's just gonna end up being cringy. So I might not do the voice. It's a high-tech Pokemon encyclopedia. Take these with you. Magic kind of rhymes, right? Should blue and blue take these with you? Ooh, my boy Oak. He's gonna drop his diss track. He's gonna drop his mixtape. Hey, yeah, he just gives you five Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball, and you'll try to catch it. Um, that's not really how it works. You kind of need a week in at first, but it's whatever. We all know how to catch Pokemon anyway, so. Yeah, basically what your rival says is <laughs> he, he gave his, his sister has a bunch of town maps, but he specifically told his sister not to give it to me, but sure she'll give it to us. We, we, we just gotta bust out the the key the key things you gotta do, okay? So you gotta get a, a picture of a basketball. You gotta drop it in her DMs, and you gotta be like, oh, i sorry, I dropped my basketball in your DMs, but can I get your number, though? And can I get a town map, though? Ooh. That always works. Try that. Try that with anyone. It will work. Trust me. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. It... It worked. What did I tell you? It worked. Basketballs. They're the answer. They're the answer to everything. And I, it's, it's alright, interrupted by another wild Pokemon battle, but I already have my team planned out for this run through of this game, so it's just a way for me to be organized. Right, hopefully that, I hope speeding up doesn't mess up my game. 
like my not my game but like my recording because it did that on my black 2 attempt I'm on the road to Verita okay, game stop now it's funny how the player just makes it to Viridian City in like less than a minute and like Ash in the anime just takes like fucking how long was it like five episodes something like that I don't, remember. I don't watch anime anymore so sorry I'm gonna cut that out I was coughing um, but yeah, come over here for an item, man. This was actually a hidden item in Arena Blue, but they just made it visible now, which is cool. Now you can head over here, and uh, you'll find your rival up there. But I recommend you not you don't fight him because because uh, I mean you're gonna be like around level seven, maybe level eight or level nine, something like that. And he's gonna have two level nine Pokemon, but here you can find some some juicy old moms, and I'm actually looking for a mom in grass. And we just found a Mankey. So basically, the Pokemon in grass are Mankey, Spearow, Rattata, and okay, uh, Nidoran's not in this. Nidoran's not. Oh fuck! You saw my mouse there. I'm sorry. But yeah, Nidoran's not in this grass in Fire Red Leaf Green. But you can get it later on anyway, which I'll show you. I just killed it! I didn't even read. I wasn't even looking. And I killed it. Alright. I'm sorry, Mankey. Please come back to me. Alright. Alright. Alright, I found one. Finally. Alright. I killed the last one. I just cut out until I found another one. Um, but yeah, Mankey is probably one of the best fighting types in this game. There's actually a really good fighting type in Gen 1. Machamp is probably the best one, but, um, Mankey is very fast. And if you have a Charmander, I recommend you pick up Mankey, but I never picked up Mankey when I had Charmander, so. Mainly because in this game, Charmander learns Metal Flop, so. And agile on its feet and furious in temperament. When angered, it flies into uncontrollable frenzy. That's it's pretty good. My boy gets triggered. My boy is a feminist. Oh, it's actually female too. I could name it feminist, but I'm gonna name it Ol Ozaru. That's a little reference, because I'm a I'm a little weeb. Shout out if you know what, what that reference is. Mm, but, uh, basically, if you have a Charmander, you really don't need to catch a fighting type. You can, I did Brock all the time with just Charmander, just cause Metal Claw. You just need a, you need to do a combination of Growling and Metal Clawing, it's pretty easy. Alright, when we get to the the old man up here, who I'll probably just leave off the episode. I'll probably leave off the episode there. Alright, so let's... Okay, you can't avoid them like you can in Gen 1. I forgot that. I've had my coffee and that's what I needed to get going. Hmm? Is that a red box you have? Oh, I hear it's a Pokedex. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in millennia. Back what? Yeah, yeah, basically all he's gonna say is, oh, you have a Pokedex, I'll teach you how to catch Pokemon so you can fill in mons in your Pokedex. And he doesn't even have a Pokeball, so he's, it's just an old man sprite, which is pretty funny. I mean, we all know how to do this, and I'm not sure how he just found a Weedle in the middle of the road, but... It's actually a pretty good animation, his name is The Old Man. Oh, I should give him a southern accent. That would have been. Oh, Alright. <coughs> well, now, now tell me, what's the education? There. Now tell me, what's the education? Here? And here, they need to. 
If there's someone you don't understand, watch that damn TV. It teach you how the basics of Pokemon train. I added in my own words there just to compliment his southern accent. I'm gonna do that for now on. That's such pretty good. Mm. Alright, I think I'm gonna end off the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, which I doubt you did, because this is a crappy episode. And basically, that Black 2 playthrough I was gonna do just burned me out. I'm joking. I'm gonna do a lot of editing. I'm gonna need to do a lot of editing because I made some cringy remarks and I need to cut those out. Besides, I can't even cut out this whole video because all of it's cringy anyway, so.